We were not among the other sheep that Christ visited in America, and we're not bidden to come forward one by one with the multitude at the Savior's invitation. Behold, I am Jesus Christ, whom the prophets testified shall come into the world. And behold, I am the light and the life of the world, and I have drunk out of that bitter cup which the Father hath given me, and have glorified the Father in taking upon me the sins of the world, in the which I have suffered the will of the Father in all things from the beginning. Arise, and come forth unto me, that ye may thrust your hands into my side, and also that ye may feel the prints of the nails in my hands and in my feet, that ye may know that I am the God of Israel and the God of the whole earth, and have been slain for the sins of the world. Consider the magnitude of our blessing to have the Holy Bible and some 900 additional pages of Scripture, including the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. Surely with this blessing, the Lord is telling us that our need for constant recourse to the Scriptures is greater than in any previous time. May we feast continuously on the words of Christ that will tell us all things we should do.